let's break down Super Bowl 54 between the Chiefs and Niners, and let's see how rigged this game really is. So right out of the gate, we got ourselves, look at all that cushion in the first half, just leaving guys open, and look at this, we have a reverse out of the gate, this is his man, he's not even trying to like react to this. So, okay, his guy is gone. He's, look at him, he's still there. He's still over there. He still hasn't come over. Guys, that's what football is. His man is still not in the picture. So his man allowed him to do this, guys, and this stuff isn't fake. And then they give it back to him. It's a toss pass. No one pursues. No one pursues. Look at this. Joggers. We got a bunch of joggers. We got a bunch of joggers. Look at this. And then he throws that to no one. He was open. He had uh, Larry Kittle open, but uh, couldn't make it happen. Right down the middle. We're going to lose this game, bud. You ready to lose? Yeah. What? No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. Are you? Yeah. All right, here we go. Look at this, not much of a cushion. Everybody's pretty close up, right? First half. Wrong. Look at this. Why is Richard Sherman on him anyway? <laughs> Look at Richard Sherman. He can't, and then he gets tackled by his own dude. Wow, how about that? Imagine your own dude slamming you. Like a slam pig. All right, look at this defensive end. He just gets cracked in his knees. Everyone's on their second level blocks, like we always talk about. Look at the defensive end. I'm telling you guys, the defensive end is the cause of every run play getting exploded or being uh, stopped in the backfield. The defensive end is the cause for everything. False start, do they call it? Offsides. Spun to the outside. They're going to call it. They're probably going to decline it. Tight coverage, false. We have another. He went fast again. That was another encroachment. They didn't call it. No one's coming up to hit him. Ooh, they came up late. That was actually. I didn't expect anyone to hit him. He went after the ball. It looks like. Wow. He actually uh, hit the quarterback. No, well, barely. Actually, he hit the ball more than anything. And that ball just sails right out of bounds. How nice. How nice and convenient for him, huh? All right. Did he get caught? Where's my defensive end? It's a touchdown, right? What's up with my defensive ends, guys? What's up with my all-pro defensive ends? Crashing inside, falling to the ground. This is the second one. Look at him. He's not even fighting to get off. Armstead, he didn't even fight to get off. And then Boza is just in the dirt. Look at him. That's the other defensive end. So basically, when the defensive end is just lollygag, they give up a touchdown. It's clear as day. Look at it. Where's the defensive end? Where is the defensive end? It's every time the defensive end is giving up a touchdown. Let's watch together. Let's see what the defensive end does right here. He's supposed to have outside contain. And he's, let's watch what this guy does. He crashes inside. He takes himself out of the play. He's the one that's supposed to make the tackle on the quarterback. And number 56 is supposed to clean up the quarterback. So that's the defensive end giving up the touchdown again, guys. This is, this is what football is. They tell the defensive end to crash inside and give up the play. That's what the NFL is. Let's see what happens. The ends, this guy looks like he's crashing in right now. Nope, he played his assignment. He played it right. It doesn't matter, though. No one plays defense. Just watch the defensive ends on every play, guys. They will give up everything to you. Right now, the defensive ends, they're kind of playing right. See what happens when the defensive ends play correctly? An interception happens. <laughs> guys, watch the defensive ends every single time on any level of football. They will show you what's going to happen. They're, they will show you. Look, they're playing their lanes. They're they're rushing on the outside. Outside contained pressure in his face. It doesn't matter. He got it. That's only because it's Patrick Mahomes. But guess what? They did that to uh, the other quarterback. And guess what? He throws a pick. All you could ask for them to do their job. They did it again. All right. 
And guess what? They do their job. They get the exact pressure they need, and it's one yard short. See what happens when you play defense correctly? But now it's fourth and one against the Chiefs, and they do another option. See, why didn't they do that this year in the playoffs? Why didn't they do that in the AFC Championship game? But you guys tell me this stuff is real, right? Wide open. Look at the defensive ends. They're rushing upfield now. Now they know how to rush upfield all of a sudden, but it doesn't matter. Looked like he was early. That guy's gloves are so bright yellow, I thought they were flags. So now we got ourselves a 10-3 game. Okay, sure. Here we go. And the BS continues. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. All right, here we go. He motions across. No one reacts. He's already outflanked. He's got a lead blocker. This can't end well. Look at the defense at end, guys. Oh, my gosh. Let's go back. This is this is the NFL, guys. It's fake. This is so fake. The average fan wouldn't even catch this at all. Like, an average fan would not even know that the defense at end is the reason why this is happening. Watch the defense at end, guys. Here's the end. Okay, let's watch what he does. And even this guy, both. let's watch both of them. Let's, what do they both do? These two guys. He crashes in, gone. He's out of the play, and this guy gets driven back. And those two guys are the reason why that play happens. Defense and outside back are strong safety. That's your run stoppers. If they don't do what they're supposed to do, that's what happens. Defense and <laughs> every time, guys. If it's a big play, the defense end does not do their job correctly. The defensive end is the key. See, right there, he does his job this time. But it, it, all right, you can't bat the ball down. But guess what? He does his job. He doesn't crash inside. He's doing his job again this time, but he kind of hesitated. They got him twice on that touchdown. Look at this. No, look at those. Both guys pulled off. Oh my God! Both of those guys pulled off of the tackle. They didn't want to hit him. Look, they're standing there. Neither guy even tries to tackle him. They're just like, ah, whatever. Look, that's Tyron Matthew, the guy that you say is, he plays with reckless abandon, right? Where's his reckless abandon there? He didn't even lay a finger on the guy in the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl has become too in touch. Become, I mean, it's been wide open, wide open. Defensive ends crashed inside again. I'm not going to keep showing it to you. I'm only going to show it on huge plays, but they do it every time. They don't ever follow their response. He crashed inside again. They just keep crashing inside, bro. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's kind of like, at this point, it's getting crazy. And then this guy tackles him forward for the first down. It's like, what are you doing? Literally tackled him forward for the first down. I don't understand what goes through these guys' heads sometimes. It's kind of baffling to me. And look at that perfectly. And look at how he botched that. How botched it. He literally threw that in the dirt. Now, that's easy to be able to toss it to him. Come on. He's not athletic enough to do that. And then this guy let him catch that. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to go back to that. But the linebacker went outside to let him catch that. He literally could have picked that off. Defensive ends doing their job. The corner never turns his head. Actually, that's Sorensen. I don't even know how that guy still has a job. It's number 49, even in AFC Championship. He's the reason why the KFC, the KC lost that game. I can't even believe he's on the team. But he's one of those guys. This guy, he follows the script. Sorensen is always going to follow the script. Oh, he looked. He knew where the ball was, and he acted like he couldn't get it. He follows the script. He never tries to be a hero. He never tries to do too much. When they tell him to give up points, they, he gives them up. He doesn't give them any grief. That's why he has a long, illustrious career. There are just certain guys. Look at this guy. He lets him catch the ball. And then he hits him late. Defense end crashes inside. And then the other one crashed inside, too. So both defensive end crash inside, and then you give up a 15-yard gain to a wide receiver. That's all that happens, guys. No one reacts to the motion. Defensive ends crash inside again. No coverage at all. They let him catch it. 
No contest, no effort, no life, no pulse. Same usual crap. All right, here we go. Third and five. Let's watch the DNs again. There we go. Now they're finally playing defense. Now it looks like everyone knows how to play football. Is it a little too late? I guess we'll see. All kicks. Can we, can we get some action? Just all kicks. All right, here we go. Single back formation. Look at how the defense ends. He crashed inside again. He allowed that. Why is 91 crashing inside and falling to the ground? He's the reason why this play happens. It's like the defensive ends are not knowledgeable of their position. It's like they're not playing their position correctly. It's like someone paid them to not do what they're supposed to do. Or they paid them to do it only sometimes. Seldomly. Seldomly do your job correctly. We will only pay you if you do it incorrectly. That's what it seems like. Again, he went inside, but it worked out for him this time. It might have been a loop. But he gets the fumble back. Yeah, you weren't supposed to take that fumble, so. They might. Sh no, they're not going to show that again. He stays outside this time. The other one, they did a loop, and he can't get there. But he throws a pick anyway. This guy, number 10, let him catch the ball. He didn't even try to stop the interception. They don't show any replays, so we got to catch him when we catch him. The end, he's actually doing a decent job there. Number 49, of course, allows another catch. Number 49 is an awful defender, but he's a good team guy. That's why they keep him around. They did a loop again. I'm not a huge fan of those loops. And then defender lets him catch the ball. It's kind of a joke at this point. So, yeah, they want McHolmes to uh, come do a little comeback on him. That's all it is. DN doesn't even act decisive at all. Lets him catch the ball. And Mahomes has got to do a little comeback to cement his legacy. What? Let's watch the defensive end. He's doing nothing. He's just standing there. He's not even trying to fight to get in. It's every time. The defensive end never does what they're supposed to do. They're, not, they're either too aggressive or not aggressive enough. Like, it's so hard to find a defensive end that does the right thing in the NFL. If you go to college, you go to high school, you find them all the time. But in the NFL, for some reason, they, they just can't seem to always do their job all the time correctly. They just see like now they're doing their job correctly. He's doing his job correctly now. He couldn't get him, though. He just wasn't fast enough. And then this defense end didn't do his job because otherwise he would have forced him right into his lap. But he went too far inside. Instead of rushing outside in, he went inside out. And you can see it because he was chasing him. That would have never happened if you stayed in your correct rush lane. But they just don't do their job. Now we got a blitz coming. And he stopped running. The blitzer stopped rushing in because this was supposed to be a first down. Oh, was it not? He stopped running. What the hell did Kelsey do? He had a first down and kind of like stopped. I'm kind of confused of this. All right, we got a chip block on the DN. Is it going to matter? Yes. Slowest spin move I've ever seen. It's like these guys are like letting these juke moves happen. I've never seen anything like it. All right, here we go. Defensive end. Let's see what he does. Outside, outside. But, ooh, they have a strip. They didn't strip him. What is number 55 doing? Literally, number 55 could have stripped that guy from behind, and he just didn't do it. And you guys are telling me this stuff is real. He doesn't even attempt to strip him because he's not supposed to. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. They're just trying to make this as challenging as possible. And at this point, I bet people are like, oh, my God, it's over. The Chiefs are going to lose. It's over right now. But then I guess the 49ers implode. Like, why are they even passing the ball here on second and four? All right, it works out, but, like, they should have been running the ball all this time right now. Defensive ends crashed inside. That's what happens. And then Jimmy G 
Gets pushed out of bounds. That's not a penalty. He pushed him. He was in bounds on the push. Don't throw a penalty because he pushed him while he's in bounds. If he stepped out of bounds, I understand, but he didn't. Wide open. And this is where the Chiefs score. This is where the Chiefs do what they got to do. Oh, it hit the ground. That one's coming back, isn't it? Yeah, everyone knows it. But he's going to get it anyway. The NFL's rigged. They're going to stop him, though, right? They'll stop him, right? They'll definitely stop him, right? Wrong! For some reason, no one guards the fastest receiver in the league. The fastest receiver in the league ends up butt naked, wide open, with the cop showing up. Like, how do you let this happen? Let's let's pause this. You're telling me this isn't rigged? 10 yards? Literally 10 yards of space between them. And then this safety. I don't even know what defense this could possibly be. I have no idea. The type of angle that that safety took, I don't even know what type of defense that was. Was that man? Was that zone? Was that just man with no zone? Was that... I don't know what that was, but it wasn't defense. You just leave Tyreek Hill wide open down the field. So that's basically just to guarantee their points. And then look at this. Defender just jumps on him. That's basically a pass interference. He does it on purpose. You know you did that, bro. Look, let's watch from here. You can't jump into the guy without turning your head. That's a face guard. You can't do this. He knows you can't do that. He's trying to catch the ball, and then Kelsey sells it a little, grabs his leg, you know, he sells it. Look at this. Kelsey sells it. He grabs his leg. But you can't jump and face guard at the same time. Look at the defensive end. Inside. No one goes back. No one plays any defense. And this is where they do the comeback. This is all a script. This is all part of the script. If you don't believe me, go look at how they came out. I did a video on that. Defensive end. Outside contain. Look at how Jimmy G takes forever. He knew that was coming. He knew that was coming, but he couldn't take a sack there. It'd be too obvious. Now the Chiefs have it. He's got that guy wide open. I knew it. I was like, you got to make that throw. He was open from the gates. And this is where they have to just take over. Wide open. Wide open. Yep. Nice, nice throw. Perfect amount of touch on it. That was literally a beautiful, beautiful throw. Not that I'm saying there was any defense. There was no defense at all. Look at this. No one. Look at those guys. Does that look like any type of effort? Does that look like they're pursuing, really, with the hardest that they have to give? Does that what that look like? Is that what that looked like? No. I don't think so. It looks really stupid to me. Like, are you really pursuing them like that? You got guys, look at him. He's diving with his head down, not even seeing what he can hit. And then you got 20 jogging behind. And it probably isn't a touchdown, but either way, that's terrible effort. Like, you can't tell me that you gave it your all right there. That's a shame on those guys. Sherman knows better than that. Like, you can't be tackling with your head down like that. You could snap your neck and hurt someone and hurt yourself. Like... Guys know better than that. That's my dog again. He he uh gets startled at times. Alright, here we go. No tackling and it was the defensive end again. Defensive end crashed inside. And uh here we go. Now we got this here. He had Debo wide open, he went to the heart of receiver. He needs to get out of bounds. All right, here we go. Wide open. And he overshoots him. Look at how number 17 pulls up. I want you guys to see how number 17 pulled up. They're not supposed to score. They're just trying to make it interesting. Give the oohs and ahs. He has all these guys burnt. They're all burnt. And then look at how he pulls up. He doesn't even really run for it. He pulled up. He could have got for that. He could have gone for that and maybe got that. You never know. Why did he stop? Why would you stop running there? Is that a position for anyone to stop running? 
Oh, and let's take a let's take a look at the blocking here. Let's take a look at the blocking or lack thereof. So yeah, Jimmy looks like he's just holding it too long, and then yeah, because you don't have that much time, he's just holding it too long. He's just holding it too long. That's on Jimmy G, guys. Yeah, and that's basically how the game ends. I guess they're going to run the ball out. Do they have timeouts? Look at the defensive end. Oh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. But, yeah, let me, let me show you what the NFL is, why this run worked. Because the NFL is all about defensive ends crashing inside and not playing the outside with their outside arm free. They're playing defensive end any old way like a barbarian. Look at how barbaric they're playing defense. Look at look at defensive end right here. Look at how he plays it. He goes in, lets himself get dominated. Like you can't let that happen. I don't care. Like you just can't let that happen, and that's why that happens. It's just embarrassing. It's a joke. The NFL is nothing to take lightly. It is so rigged. It's not even funny anymore.